Welcome to a cool trick to run a report on a query. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, I am freshly returned from uh, Days of Knowledge Americas in Atlanta, and um, super conference, uh, great session, great people. Uh, it was, I had a great time. And apart from doing my sessions, uh, I had a I had a chance to go to some of the other sessions also. And uh, one of the sessions I um, I walked into was uh, a session by Tonya. Uh, and, and there's a link to her blog uh, down in the description. Tonya is brilliant. And uh, she was doing a session on, on queries and all the cool things that you can do with queries. And I think we have a few videos already on the channel, queries. but one of her slides was a, a cool hack a cool trick uh and 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 you know you know i, I love that stuff uh it was the trick of running a report on a query so you you could print the content of your query uh and super elegant um so i thought i would show you how she did that um and uh, for that, we need Visual Studio Code. So uh, let me let me create a uh, create a report. We can do a report. I just call it query report. Doesn't really matter at this point. Um, and uh, any report needs a data set, right? But but we we can. And then we you know you add a data item, uh, and, and let's go. Actually, just for a second here, let's look at queries. We're just gonna grab a query. All up to customer ledger entries. How about? It really doesn't matter. Yeah. So the idea is, of course, why this is interesting at all is if you have built a query to get uh, data and and it works quite well, and suddenly you need to print it for some reason, use it in a report, then this is where this come in so the, it's kind of a data set reusable thought uh, um, because you probably built the same data set in a report but if you already have the query and it and and the difference is that a query works on the sql level so some of the the aggregation and stuff like that you can do uh, in a query is way faster than to do it high level in a report um, but so 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 it's a very specialized trick it's not that from from this time on you will do all your reports uh this way not at all but i think it's a cool trick so i, I wanted to show this so the problem here is that we can call this cle um is of course that i cannot select a query here right we can only select a a table to be the source of a data item so so what do we do well here's the trick we the tables we have are of course all the tables we know in the system but we do have the integer table and the integer table is just a random table right it's it, it, not a random table, but it's a table with just numbers in it and you can you can decide how it works uh, so it's very convenient if you want to work with something somewhere else i think we have some other videos on the channel where where i i fake a tape table also with an integer and basically that's that's what we're going to do so now we need to figure out okay we need the query so so actually we're gonna gonna create the query let's call it q how about that as a variable um and it was called customer ledger entries something like that that looks good uh so now we have a query uh but now we need to to work the query um and the way you work a query is that so so let's let's add a trigger here so on pre data items so before we do stuff before we start 
working this data item. What we can do here is that we can say Q dot open. So now the way a query works is that you, when you open a query, it, the work is actually done. And then we can go and say trigger, uh, let's see what the other trigger on after get record. And what we want to do here is Q dot read. So now we are, we're reading out the next one, but what we does is that it returns a boolean when it's done. So what we can do is that we can say if not read, then curve report break. So now we want to jump out of the 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 data item we're in. Curve report break. So and and at this point we're actually done. So this is this is so simple, this is so beautiful. Uh that so so in reality, if we start adding columns, uh and we can uh, I don't care about the, the A1 and A1 will then be Q dot amount. It doesn't really matter at this point. We 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 just want to take the fields from uh, the fields from the query, so Q dot customer name, uh, column A three, Q dot customer, I don't know, document date. This is as the potential of being one fantastic <laughs> report, but you. Can you see the beauty of this? So the downside here is that um, it's slightly complicated to, to set filters on the query. So this is mostly where if you want to run the entire query, uh, this downside to everything. Um, but this is kind of it. So we probably need to uh, query report. Use this category equal reports application area all uh, default layout is Excel. Uh, then we do Excel layout equal query report dot like something like that. We build get that we run I think we just run I think this is as simple as run the thing oh it's starting on another screen oh let's see if we can get it onto the screen here we go here we go I think I did remember to change my launch.json to run the report as the start of it. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, download. Working on it. Bingo. Query report open. Let's see what we got. And we have our data. I think that is pretty cool. I, uh, yeah, well done, uh, Tonya. That was a uh, that was very nice. It's a great idea. Um, and of course, you can actually get into all sort of uh, interesting scenarios where where you can have. A query combined with a a, a report uh, other data items if you want um, uh, it's hard to do the, the 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 automated data links between elements but but Q 
you've got options. Um, and, and and if you really want to, you, you could still create, um, what I, I, had, I, had, I said that you can really do filters, but you can't do filters. You just have to, to create some request page fields and then feed them into, uh, uh, into the, um, through the, the set filter set range thing. What you cannot do is the, uh, the data link stuff, because this from, from, from the report engine inside business central there's only one field in this data item and, and that's the number field of for, from the engine to the table but anyway i i think that's super elegant and uh, and cool and uh, i'm gonna use that at some point in time i'm sure so well done tanya and uh, remember to check out her uh, her blog and uh, you know follow her on socials uh, that's good stuff and when you're done with uh, tanya wow wow there it is the next video for you i'll see you there take care bye <laughs>